All right, so it's a pleasure to have a very special guest today, and she's a Russian award-winning actress. She's worked in over forty major films and TV shows in Europe, Asia, and now in the U.S. She's one of the top ten most recognized and successful young actresses in Russia. Now, the thing that we're going to cover today is that she recently got into spirituality, and she's not just into acting; she's also into filmmaking and music. So let's get her. All right, I'm just waiting for you to. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? So happy. Pleasure to, to have you. <laughs> so. so good to see you. Um, yeah. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Now I'm in Russia. You're in India. Incredible. So good that we have Instagram <laughs> and that, that we can do it. What do you want to talk today about? All right. So first of all, from where did it all begin, and uh, from how did like from where did you get into acting? And you're also into filmmaking and music composing and even singing. So from where did it all start, actually? Uh, actually, I think all those things are very close to each other because it's all um, art. In why I like filmmaking. Why I became filmmaker because in the movie I can use all my little talents. <laughs> uh, from my childhood, I wrote some songs, lyrics, music, uh, and I wanted first of all I wanted to be a singer. But then I decided that it's better to become an actress and sing than just to be a singer, because you know I can work in musicals, so I can both do. Uh, of my jobs, and right. then I was growing, 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 and <laughs> I started to realize that I like uh, directing, I like to write stories, and all of these things I can use in the movie. That's what I'm, what I'm doing right now. Right. So, which one is the thing that you like the best? If you have to choose amongst all the things. Oh, that's the most <laughs> difficult question because that's the reason why I chose. Uh, Film industry because in film industry I can do everything. Uh, yeah. If I if I say acting, I mean maybe I'm professional as an actress because I graduated university. I was studying acting, uh, okay. but all those times uh, writing music and write stories and all those things was always my hobby. And um, just because I have a Diploma as an actress doesn't mean that I'm more professional as an actress because okay. during all this time I was um, studying myself. I was watching some videos, reading books, and it's also education. I think self-education is even um, more progressive than um, university. Mm -hmm. All right. So, from where did spirituality stem? And I saw your post in Isha Yoga Center, so you've been there. And from where uh, the spiritual, like I mean, uh, even though like it's an innate thing for every human being, but some of the, some of the other incident touches someone, or something just happens that they just uh, have this realization. So, what was it for you that? How did you get into spirituality? <sighs> This is very important question. And I, I will be happy to share my story because I actually I never talk about it with anybody. It was something very very private, uh, especially in the industry where I'm working. There are so many um, things. We, we are always on the cover, you know. I'm always on the screen. I always have to be happy and brilliant, and everything have to be perfect, and people. Often thinks that uh, I don't have any problems. That all stars, you know, that they just have an amazing life. That's it. <laughs> Swimming in the money. <laughs> no, it's not like this. Um, this is only job, like any other job. And of course, I had um, some moments in my life when I didn't want to do. Anything. When I lost myself and was thinking, why do I do it? Even if I like my job, you know. But sometimes there are like um, <clears throat> we say it in Russia. I don't know if you have it in India. This um, idiom like white stripes and black stripes. Yes, and okay. um, like a zebra. <laughs> and uh, one day I was just noticed 
that everything what I did before and it was easily happened, it doesn't work anymore. Like everything okay. what I was trying to start and um, my relationship, it was not how I was um, imagining it. So day by day, I became very um, depressed, if I can say this terrible word. <laughs> really, I just started to lose um, the reason why do I do it. I asked myself where I'm running. I'm always working, working, working for, for what? I'm becoming more successful, but I'm not becoming more help, I'm more happy. And and it, it was terrible time. It was 2017. Yes, 2017. I lost something like 10 kilos. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I was traveling, trying to stay with the friends, and nothing helped me. I didn't feel any s satisfaction from this life. And I started, of course, to watch some videos or read books. And your country is so rich of different philosophy and different way, ways how to survive <laughs> mentally, first of all. So I read many books and watch many videos. Um, so why Sadhguru? <laughs> I'm not advertised here in Isha Yoga Center, um, but I just like it to watch those uh, his videos on YouTube. You probably all India yeah. knows Sadhguru, yes? He's very famous there. Yes, so um, maybe one year I was just watching the video. It was my little ritual in the night before go to sleep. I was watching some one, two, three videos, and uh, it was helping me somehow. Then uh, after this, I um, ah he was coming to Moscow, and I was thinking, okay, I have to go there, and there was no advertising at all. I was thinking, yes, those guys will lose money because there is no advertising. <laughs> and they already rent the biggest place in Moscow, you know, you know, bigger than stadium for football. So I was thinking, yes, okay. poor people, they will lose money for sure. And then maybe one week before I went to buy ticket and there was no tickets. And they said, of course, it sold out <laughs> months ago. <laughs> okay. I was really shocked because there was no advertising at all. Uh, okay, so unfortunately I couldn't go there. Uh, and then uh, the, the year after I had a birthday and I was in Los Angeles for my work. And I read somewhere that Sadhguru will come in Los Angeles with inner engineering. It was close to my birthday, so I decided, okay, I will make this present for myself <laughs> and go there because it was um, I don't remember something around four hundred dollars yes I was thinking it's you know like it's a lot for just uh, conversation <laughs> <laughs> yes but I really wanted it on top of it they gave me um, 10 classes uh, online classes um, I felt like already professional after YouTube. I was a YouTube watcher, so many things in this online class I already knew. But I have to say that after these two days, two days it was very intensive. Like first day it was 12 hours, 12 hours uh, <laughs> in the same place. It was 3,000 people. Right. No one left. <laughs> All 3,000 from 9 to 9 was there. And the second day, it was from 9 to 5 or 6, something like this. It was very intensive. And after this, I started to notice that something, something changing. Because there are some, um, some exercises that you have to do. And I think everybody has to do this exercise. This is very... Yeah, the yoga. Simple. Even before yoga. Even before yoga. I mean, to be... In, in the process of all this, um, how to say, wor world creation. Like if something, if, if you're going on the street and you see that something happened, don't think that it's not your business. Like, okay, something happened, two people go. <laughs> no, just 
always try to think that you are like a mother of this land and care of each creation like this is your little son or daughter. And if you will feel it and practice it in yourself, then really something changing. Then you're immediately um, getting the sense of life. And what else I noticed that many things are going come back to you. Mm. So first, uh, so that's how I started to <laughs> change my way and go to spirituality. After I started to do yoga, and then uh, then I met Sadhguru. <laughs> I spoke with him mm, because we want to make a movie uh, okay. on the, with this topic. And um, maybe year after, I came to. India because I felt it's so far away. It is really far away <laughs> from <laughs> Russia and even from the United States. It's like another side of the world. And all this experience was maybe one of the maybe the best <laughs> what I had. First of all, your country is so colorful <laughs> and beautiful, and uh, it is so different. It's amazing that it stays. Uh, still stays different from other countries. Even even the way, what, which dress you have. I'm <laughs> sure you have brilliant dress, <laughs> you know. Okay, you so all, that's you, like a sari. Yeah. yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> all of you girls, you like, even, even if you go to buy some food in the store, you look like you are going on red carpet. It's incredible. <laughs> yes, it is so different. <laughs> so... Yeah, that, that's amazing. And the day when, when me and my boyfriend we came to India, Kaimbatur, it was such an adventure. First of all, drivers. They're crazy. <laughs> I don't know how all, the, all of them get this driver license. Because the way they're <laughs> driving, I was always thinking that it's <laughs> some roller coaster. <laughs> It was so fast, and everybody doing baby. <laughs> yes, there are animals, people, cars, buses. Everybody with a very high speed are going together, and for some reason nobody died. I don't know <laughs> how it's possible. <laughs> yes. Another experience which we were very mm, like surprised. We had dollars because we came from the United States and it was impossible to change dollars. It, like it was right. like you, you really need to know somebody who will <laughs> recommend you to another person who will say, let me see your dollars. No, these dollars of 2006 and we are, we are, <laughs> we are getting dollars only after 2009. So dollars for 2006, maybe in another three kilometers okay. somebody will change to you but the price will be less because it's 2006 okay <laughs> i don't understand the logic why dollars from 2006 are cheaper than dollars from 2009 <laughs> <laughs> they're all american dollars it's really strange mm. okay so we spent like two hours to change dollars and also in other countries, you can change it in bank. You just come to bank and change it. And there, no, <laughs> you have to go to some strange place. <laughs> no, but uh, didn't you uh, didn't you get that done on at the airport itself? Uh, no, mm, no. We we came very early and it was closed. And also, mm, the taxi driver told us that he will bring us to the right place. And the oh. place was really strange. Yes. Really, really strange, mm. and people was also <laughs> very strange, and we were ready to give them our dollars, but they say no. You know, it's 2006. We will not change it. So okay. we um, changed like three or four places, and finally okay. I said, "But do you have a simple bank? You see, you have Citibank. Citibank is American bank. We came there. They say, ah, yes, but we can recommend you a place where you can change dollars." I don't know how it works. Okay. okay, then uh, food. Food is another <laughs> big experience because what I was thinking, we, we asked something not spicy and when we eat, <laughs> it was so spicy, like you have a fire, <laughs> no water help, 
nothing. <laughs> it's so spicy. Oh my god, I don't know how you how you can eat it. My boyfriend, he was sure that he likes spicy, but after this, <laughs> he couldn't eat for another few days. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, maybe for European people, it's really different food. Yeah. And um, yeah. when we came to ashram, we also had spicy and no spicy food. Uh, because they know that European people have different no spicy than Indian no spicy. And also the food was so delicious. I don't know what is this. I had no idea what I eat. There was many some of something, some sauces, and it, it was so delicious. But I still don't know what did I eat for one month. Okay. So it is oh, you stayed here for a month? Yes, yes. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. You have much more vegetables and fruits, which we have no idea even what, what is the name of it. <laughs> and it is pity that we don't have it, because in your country it's very easy to, to become vegetarian, because you have a lot of food. We have only um, tomatoes, cucumbers, potato, <laughs> basta, that's it. <laughs> That's why it's very, very difficult. And also in Russia, of course, meat is one of the most famous dishes. I don't know, are you vegetarian or not? Yeah. <laughs> yes? I noticed that um, a lot of people, even a lot of places, restaurants, are vegetarian restaurants in India. Yeah. So, yes. The first place where we came because we were so hungry uh, after this long flight and we came... Um, to the restaurants this taxi driver brought us there and they gave us it wasn't plate it was leaf of palm <laughs> yes. oh yeah 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 yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And this is something traditional yes. Yes. yes so we were waiting where plate will come they never came they said you have to eat like this okay and the second experience was how to eat with the hands Hand. yeah oh my god it was so difficult. <laughs> I was like a child. All food was everywhere. <laughs> yes. But after I, um, I practice, because without practice, you will be hungry. <laughs> you must do it. <laughs> yes. So after one month, this one month, I was going without shoes, eating yeah. by hands and on the floor. It was amazing, but it, it was real experience. And when I put some pictures on Instagram, actually, I did it so seldom because at this place, you just don't think about Instagram at all. You're just happy. <laughs> and that's it. You don't need to show. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes, but it was great. First day, I couldn't go without shoes at all. I felt such a pain and I was thinking, but maybe it's dirty. Or how it possible to go without shoes? Are you going without shoes sometimes? Or yeah, uh, like I think the first few days were like difficult for me also when I was there, but uh, I got used to it. Yes, mm -hmm. <gasps> that's amazing. In Russia, people would think that I'm crazy, <laughs> that I'm homeless, or something happened. Somebody would come to me and <laughs> propose maybe I need shoes; they can buy it to me. <laughs> <laughs> something like this. Right. Yes. Okay, so like how was the experience like in terms of what did you feel when you were in Ashram or specifically after inner engineering which you say that that was the only experience that you have in terms of spirituality. So how, mm -hmm. how has it made an impact in your life? Mm -hmm. um, it is not only exercises. It is, but maybe most of these things you are doing naturally but we are not doing. Uh, First is food, is to be vegetarian is very, very important. What you eat, because this is what gives you energy. And what I study is that food is... Um, I think in Russia and especially in America, people have different attention to food. After India, I eat only things which gives me energy when I need it. And when I need to be calm, I eat different stuff to be calm. So I just... Um, I'm not only eating, 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 yes, and I also like this, I don't know how to say it in English, interval uh, diet. Intermittent fasting? Are you talking about? Maybe, when you, when like you, intermittent diet? when you eat two times per day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like at 10 and at 6, at six yes, 30, yeah. and between you're not eating. 
Yes. Yeah. This yeah. helps a lot. Yes. So um, you never feel heavy or sleepy or this is the first recipe which I would um, advise to everybody. Then we was uh, we wake up in ashram at 5.30, actually at 5 and at 5.30 uh, all yoga starts. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? So first is this preparation to go to, go to sleep very early. No, no, I mean, when you, when you came back to Russia after, this, after spending like this one month in ashram, so you carried all of these things with you that used to happen in the ashram, right? Like the entire lifestyle. Many things. It, the most difficult right. is to, um, to keep this ashram life in your own home. This is the most difficult exactly. part. Yes. Right. Especially if you live with other people who do not understand it and who already have bad habits. Mm, so, what I'm not doing? Here in Moscow, it's difficult to wake up at 5.30. Yes. And also go to sleep around 9 because sometimes I have shooting till midnight. And this is pity. Yes. But what I'm doing, I'm continue practicing my Shambhavi Mahamudra. This is... Uh, yoga practice which we study after inner engineering mm, right. some exercises and also um, breathing and uh, first four months I think it didn't work or I didn't notice how it worked but after this I, s I realized that uh, when I start my morning with these uh, exercises it's like the, the day is going naturally better when i'm not doing it i just feel that i missed something so it is very good because you have only 21 minutes in the morning when you can concentrate only on your um, on yourself on mm -hmm. your um, world inside you and just forget all the problems for at least 21 minutes do, do not think about anything uh, first day i remember when we just uh, when show us how to do it and the first time I was watching around <laughs> because some people were a little bit crazy somebody cried somebody laughed uh, it was different reaction you know 3,000 people and I was so curious maybe my mm, the actress was <laughs> woke up <laughs> and watching around like oh, what happened <laughs> yes and that's why I couldn't concentrate on myself and the second time he said, come on, people, <laughs> you came here, you paid this money, you spent your time. So just try to do it for yourself, not for everybody else. And the second time I really f felt something. Um, first of all, I didn't feel my body. I really didn't feel it. I just felt myself as a, as a spirit. That's it. And uh, for you, it's absolutely naturally to sit in this pose. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the sitting, I uh, sit down. Like this, okay. yes. Uh, for us, it's not natural. So all the bones are starting to... <laughs> <laughs> and without practice, it's really, really difficult to sit for a long time like this. But I... I really didn't feel any of pain, in, uh, any pain in my body after this exercise. And uh, of course, with the practice now, I already not know how to do it. But it was like a magic mm -hmm, in that moment. Yes, I'm, so I'm how is speaking it? too much. No, no, now, no, now no, your it's turn. It's all about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all about you here. So I want to know that, like you know, apart from uh, implementing all of these things in your day-to-day -day course. How has it impacted you? Because you told me that uh, you were kind of depressed and you were not genuinely happy about everything that you were doing, but you had this feeling. So mm -hmm. what about that? I mean, uh, so how what do you about feel that? about it now? Mm -hmm. uh, now I have a uh, harmony with myself, first of all, because I, we very often, we think that we will be happy if, somebody will be with us if we will have uh, some job if 
I will have a bigger house and always if something happened. But the most important thing is to be in harmony with yourself. When you're in harmony with yourself, it doesn't matter. You have this house good, you have bigger, okay, good. But uh, you understand that this is only things which are around you. It's not what inside you. If you are in harmony with yourself, all other things. Uh, oh, I like it very much, uh, this um, example that, that he told us on this master class, um, that if you are in the traffic, you are very nervous because you are inside this traffic. But if you watch on it, uh, I will show you my window like this. So it looks so peaceful. Just some cars are going around, yes? And uh, now I know how to do it. So if something happens, I just watch on it like if I am somewhere on the mountains, you know? And then all the problems are becoming so small. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's given you a sense of harmony in your, within, with yourself, right? So First has of all, like, with myself, yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. has like your relationships, like you said, or your work, has it impacted your work or your relationships? Like how, has it, has mm -hmm. it made a change in terms of how you look at things? Like, I'm just a happy person. <laughs> I'm just a right. happy person. I'm, uh, mm, whatever happened, I know that I am who I am and uh, it doesn't disturb me at all. What I, what I can do now, I can, I can say, okay, I will think about it tomorrow. And doesn't matter if this, the problem is huge. I just postponed it and, okay, now I will make some tea and maybe do some yoga. And after this, I will think about it. And it is true. If your mind is calm, if you are calm, then you can see this problem uh, from the different perspective and uh, and it's easy to find solution because when you're nervous when you're all inside this problem um, you cannot Definitely. find uh, any solution mm -hmm. especially if you created the problem <laughs> how you can find the solution you created it <laughs> yes yeah, so you mean that it has made an impact in terms of your, like the problem solving in your life, in your relationships and even in your work, right? So About uh, relationship, before I was yeah. thinking that man is, is everything, is the biggest part of my happiness, yes? Mm, and only when I, when I found this harmony with myself, when I realized that I'm absolutely happy even if I'm alone, I can be happy. What's wrong with it? Only after this, I could meet the right man, you know. Because oh, very often when we have some problems, some complexes, we want to fix it um, with the help of another person. We want just take, all, especially girls, like take all the problems and, you know, to meet men say, this is to you. Now you have to decide it. <laughs> it's not my problem anymore. <laughs> So it doesn't work like this. Only two absolutely happy person can meet and be together. Mm -hmm. If we and want like, to... Mm -hmm. Like also emotionally independent people, you mean? I think everybody has to be independent. Why, exactly. why do you want to be dependent of somebody? We are not a slave of somebody. and We can be together on, only if both wants to be together. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you know, I mean, uh, I don't know what to say about this, but, you know, we all live in this fast paced world. But I don't know if uh, because uh, we kind of are into the same thing. Like, I mean, I'm into designing and styling. So uh, it is kind of a fast paced sort of an, uh, an industry. So how do you deal with that in terms of, you know, has spirituality helped you in those things? Because, you know, you said that it has been that you, we all are just pretending to be happy. Is, is that so sometimes that we have to be happy in front of the camera or in front of people with the kind of industry mm -hmm. we are in? And even otherwise, I think we're just not allowed to be or show that side that, you know, there's something that's happening with us. We need to be and we need to 
be uh, just absolutely happy in front of the people around so uh now definitely you say that you just are happy irrespective of anything right now but uh, how how do you how do you deal with that i mean because for some people uh, it's very difficult to handle the spiritual aspect and also their work at the same time you know because sometimes people are just spiritually too awakened or stuff and they just want to leave the world or stuff like that so how do you deal with that kind of a thing has that happened with you or it's all calm around your gossip like the gossip sort of the section of the industry and you being spiritual so is that a thing no 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 um all came with the with time with the with the practice uh before i reacted on everything so emotionally what happened yeah. in, in my industry like some journalist wrote a bad article about me and i oh, oh my god what can i do i have to sue them or now i'm i'm just you know i take in a life like a comedy sometimes <laughs> we have different genres of our lives and it's and we are the only um, director of our life and we can choose which genre we have so when something bad happen i take it as a comedy i'm uh, i'm trying to find some funny things in it um, and uh, people always waiting reaction yes and if they don't have reaction then it didn't work so i broke in plans of bad people <laughs> <laughs> that's is my way yes again thinking uh thinking as the mother of the world <laughs> you know like okay this is one of my son who is today not in in a good mood so we will forgive it to him and just do not react this is one way uh what else mm the question was so long that <laughs> i lost it no i mean like uh, do you, do you do you get tangled up amidst the, all the gossip and everything that happens but you just said that okay you deal with it in a no, really i mean it way. doesn't mean that i don't do anything sometimes some terrible things happens and like yeah. i i have even court case with one director who he didn't pay me he uh he sold the the movie without uh, my rights so many things but maybe 2 years before i would be inside this problem and you know very much worry about it and now i'm just doing what i supposed to do if there is a situation where you have to do something you just do in it um you have to be honest with yourself first of all never lie to yourself and to people and then you just do in it but without um, emotional part our life is all from this little emotions so we are deciding which emotion it is and uh, it doesn't mean that i work less but i put more my attention to some nice things like to go to walk to um, to do to do something what i like even food if i eat it i eat it consciously <laughs> you know thinking what i eat i now i think what i it, when i see something first of first my thought i think do i want that this thing uh will become part of me or not after i eat it without thinking about mm how tasty it is yes uh and this thought is helping me with everything when i'm thinking about my friends and uh, things which are around me in my in my house you, i'm very economic girl this is <laughs> no that's strange but it is so yes yeah. i'm very economic but from another side uh where i was thinking i'm always saving something for, for what for what today i live today so i started to spend more time and sometimes even not money even even time not only for my work but also for things which are giving me pleasure and spending time with the people who are bringing me this pleasure to see them and i visit my parents much more after i visited ashram 
because they are not living in Moscow, they live on south of Russia. And I just get this um, disconnection. And I realize that people who love me, how many positive energy they are giving me back when I'm with, with them. And unfortunately, I s already lost a lot of time just to be concentrated on career. But still, I, I'm, I'm good with my, with my job, with my career. Of course, now with the coronavirus, everything was closed. And now, mm -hmm. slowly, slowly, it's, mm, the world is waking up. Mm -hmm. But the, um, I, I found this balance between work and spiritual life. And it is absolutely possible. You don't have to be a monk uh, right. to be spiritual. No. Right. So you've made that balance. But I mean, uh, like the past of you, uh, which who did not know about spirituality and for the people who don't know about spirituality, or even let's, for, let's say Shambhavi Mahamudra has impacted you and Inner Engineering has impacted you. So uh, what do you have to say to those people? I mean, that would be the last question that I want to touch upon as to like, what do you think? Like, you know, even after saying that it has made a huge impact in your life about the way you would look at things. Uh, but for those who are not into this and for those who don't know about spirituality. I thought in India, everybody in... <laughs> everybody no, actually, here, no? So, I thought everybody so, so spiritual in India. No, no so like, uh, I mean, mixed, mixed people around. And I think spirituality is around the world. Definitely, it's very much prevalent in India. It's it's rooted in India. But uh, because of a lot of things that happened to India, uh, people have lost that. So that's not really very much prevalent here. And also, it's cultural imperialism and everyone's like in inspired by the US. So <laughs> that culture is like more prevalent among the metropolitan cities. So that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Listen, I, I'm really surprised that not everybody is spiritual in India. <laughs> not everyone. I think you I have it say. in your blood. Uh, and actually, I think you have. Uh, what I, what I can, could suggest, I don't want, you know, only advertise Isha Foundation, right. but this is the only place where I've been. That's why I cannot say anything about exactly. Father Ashram. But I have a friend in Moscow. Uh, he's uh, Indian and he's yoga teacher. So he told me that there are many even small ashrams, little places, and uh, so many guru. And the only thing is just, just to start. Again, it doesn't mean that you have to become a monk. You can just watch some videos on YouTube, I mean some yoga practice, and try to do it slowly, slowly. Mm, if you will feel that you want something more, you're already there, guys. You just have to take a bus or plane and... In one two hours you will be in the place i spent 12 hours to come <laughs> to come there you are already there come on <laughs> i think that everybody have to spend at least at least two weeks in in ashram this is so amazing and there was so many people every day coming every day every day every day ah uh, ah do you have this um Yes, what, what is the name of this the biggest festival of the year? Mahashivratri, are you talking yes. about? Yes, yeah. yes, this one. So everybody celebrated on only in ashram. Yeah, no, that, that's, there, that's, yes. there in, that's there pretty much in a lot of areas in India. That happens there. So, I mean, on the festivals, we all are very active, but like in general life, uh, I don't think we've adapted that a lot, you know. Mm. Yeah. This is because I never been there at this time. I, this is my really dream to come there uh, for such a celebration. But I was in India once. It was another festival, very strange, because I just came out on the street and somebody put some colorful thing on me. And so I was all in different colors. <laughs> what so is this? What, what month of the year were you here? I think it was March or something. Yeah, so many people. Cool. Would, yeah. With the, some, mm, yes, some colorful, I don't know what is this. They're just putting it to each other. <laughs> what is this? What was that? Yeah, that's the Gulal. So that's, that, that's a festival uh, in India. Uh -huh. So that's the so auspicious. I immediately of, yeah. get 
uh, yeah, I, I was thinking these people are so happy. They just go into the street and doing that kind of thing. <laughs> it's amazing. In Russia, we would be already stationed if we do something like this. But this is funny. I love it. Yes, so I think you... It, it is, you know, it is so strange for me that I'm in Russia and I'm giving some uh, suggestion to the people who already live on this beautiful earth, who already have such a huge... Um, religion part and philosophy and everything wow i you i really admire you guys and all the, this culture mm. but for somebody like me not such a very spiritual you can start with youtube <laughs> just okay. watch some advertising and slowly slowly go and when you feel that you're ready go to some ashram not especially this one but maybe others right Okay. All right. So it was great having you. But before I let you go, uh, we have this thing about like, you know, get real with Risham sort of a thing. And I'm going to tell you a word and you have to say whatever comes to your mind first. Ah, uh, okay. I hope I all know right. all of these words. Of course. Yes. Okay. All right. So acting. Mm. Acting. Uh, only one word I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay go ahead. okay different different lives different lives okay a oh, good one music mm. language of the world mm. art what art art ah, art uh, how difficult to find only one word mm. <laughs> This is some else language of the world, but from the different sides. Okay, you can go ahead with because the other you know I have so many arts. I will show. <laughs> like, do you see? Oh, from where all have you collected these? Yes. So this is all what I, this is another hobby of mine, <laughs> and this is also language with the world when you don't have to say any word, but you can show it and you. Uh, and the person is immediately in the situation which you were imagining in your mind. It's not one word, it's hundred words, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. Uh, spirituality. You. What? Uh, spirituality. What did you say? Mm. Spirituality. Style of life. Yeah. Right. Okay, gossip. Lifestyle. Gossip? Ah, funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yoga. Ah. Yoga is... Uh, how difficult. Actually, yoga is a style of life. Because before <laughs> now I have to say very little story. Uh, <laughs> uh, because before when I uh, heard the word yoga, I was on, only imagining people who are um, swallow the fire or walking on the um, knives or something like this. Yes. Then when with the time, the word yoga was only uh, had association with the. Um, these yoga classes in Russia, in America, we have so many, but they have nothing to do with yoga. It's just gymnastic, right. you know. <laughs> right. So what I realized that yoga is is the way you live. You don't have, you, you can feel yourself yogi only if you, it, it's not only exercises, Is as we speak before, is the time when you sleep, is the moon, is what you eat, what you think. Right. So this is the way of the lifestyle. Life. Right. All right. And the last one, fashion. Fashion. Mm. Fashion is... Mm. I have a trouble with one word. <laughs> fashion is... Uh, is the way to show what you have inside. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, bright right. and brilliant inside. This is the way how you can... Um, 
show what you feel yes right all right so it was great great having you and thank you for taking out time and for such beautiful words on india specifically and it was a pleasure having you thank you very much namaskaram thank you namaskaram <laughs>